Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, we're heading across the top of the mountain. Holy sheep. <laughs> yeah, we're um, heading out for a camp. Little and said she wanted to go out camping tonight, so we're off. So, yeah, the car's not set up or anything. And it's getting dark, and we've got a lack of diesel and all sorts. So, uh, yeah, it should be good fun. So, uh, we'll catch you in a bit, guys, once we get our destination and uh, get the car set up. Alright, guys, like I said, so we're well and organised tonight. So, here's the. Uh, we're going to set it up. Just slide the front seats forward a little bit. Getting the boards down, getting the beds together, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you uh, in a minute. Like I say, last minute thing. There's some stuff there for tomorrow. Uh, last minute thing this evening, but um, yeah, we have stayed in this spot before, so uh, we know the area. So yeah, we'll just come here because it's just off the cuff, like, innit? All right then guys, so it's uh, five past two, ten past two, somewhere around there. But let's just set in the beds up in the back for us. Um, the front of the car is just a mess at the minute. Because uh, we've had to find somewhere to throw all the junk. So yeah, had a bit of a fire going over there and uh, going to be settling down pretty soon. Oh, I am anyway. I'm not. <laughs> uh, it's about four o'clock. Something like that, is it? Uh, it's, it's starting to get light. We haven't got any sunrise yet. I'm going to have an hour. And, uh,. And we'll get some coffee on and stuff. But yeah, here we are, guys. Just on the uh, local spot here. And I think, yeah, apart from somebody dumping some up there, is there a car up there? It might be. Might be another car or it could be a bush, guys. I'm not sure. But uh, either way, I'm going back to sleep. Uh, right, <clears throat> guys, it's actually quite warm out there now. Apparently. Yeah, I'm sweating where well, like... <sighs> Coffee time there. Yeah. What time is it anyway? Um... Eight of three. Eight. Yeah. That's oh, quite early. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding, I thought it'd be more than that. Oh. All right. Coffee. Alright, so first cup of coffee of the day. First of many probably. Um we'll get some food on in a minute, we got some bacon and stuff. But, I can't remember what I was going to say now. I really haven't had a lot of sleep, guys, to be fair. How much sleep have I had? All morning. All morning, that's about an hour. No, it was like three hours. <sighs> three hours. That's enough. <laughs> anyway, guys. Okay. She had two hours sleep last night because she slept all day yesterday, that's why. Alright, yeah, but that doesn't count. <laughs> okay, let's learn a new skill, guys. So, we can't really do it here, we haven't got enough sun, but. So, come on then, how do we do it? Um, you get dead stuff, and then right. you get a bottle, a clear one, it's gonna be nice and clean. Right. And then, see that bit, yeah, you gotta find the strongest bit and put it on it, like that. Alright, so like a magnifying glass. Yeah, yeah. And then. You wait two to three minutes in like a nice country, right. a hot country, and then it should start smoking and then you put it on a fire. Yeah, I'd give it about two, three hours up here though. Yeah, agreed. Nah, we haven't got enough sun to even get the 
thing, have we? No. But it's all practice, guys. It's all practice. It's no way I'm out to do these things, isn't it? All right, so next method, I'm going to teach you how to try. It's going to be flint and steel. I already know to use one of them. We'll see. I do. You rub them together. Well, not exactly, no. Like sideways or something. No. Actually, no I'll show you now. Alright guys, so that car that we thought we seen last night was a bush. It's actually a bush. That, that's a new car there on the left, but yeah, that was a bush. Right then. I'll quickly show you how to use it. Hey girl. No. <clears throat> so the first thing you gotta do. Yeah. This silver stuff here is magnesium, right? This yeah. silver stuff here is magnesium. That is the actual flint. So what you do, you scrape off a load of magnesium first. Like that. And then they'll like the magnesium. Yeah. yeah. And then, obviously you need more than that, and then you give it a good... Like that. Right. And that's how you end up with your fire. Obviously, that kindling's not the best there, and it's extremely windy, so, but again, we're just getting the hang of how to do it. You just threw it my <laughs> we'll Scrape it off the back. What? Scrape the magnesium off the back of it. Turn it over. Yeah. That sounds awful. Yeah, that's not the best metal. You're better off with a knife or something, but just scrape it off and then give it a good strike down with a. Oh, well, I'll be fine then. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, you've got to give it. Give it a bit of effort to scrape it off like that, right? Mm. And the more you can get in there, the better. And then give it. See, see what happens. See, go in. Yeah. I said obviously we need better kindling, but basics of how to use a flint and steel. Right, so we've got a nice small fire going guys, we've done it the old fashioned way. Um, yeah, we just need more sticks now. Do you want to do this to me? Alright, so, kettle's on for pot noodle. I thought she wanted to light the fire to cook the bacon on, but no. So, she's having pot noodle now in a minute, and then we're going to have some bacon sandwiches. Yeah, it's going alright though, aren't we? Yeah. We have got some uh, background bikes as well. Oh, that's good timing. She's learning to talk sheep now. Hello. What are you doing? You can see it, guys. You definitely hear it. I've lost it. I can't even see the screen, to be fair, but yeah. Good job I didn't have the drone in the air at the time. Okay, so it's almost one o'clock. Uh, so I'm going to be setting up for a CB radio net that uh, starts at two. Um, I'll be on my on my other channel, Double uh, O Nine Adventures. I'll put a link for that down below this one. That's my main channel. Um, but yeah, 
well, I'll just be on that for a bit and then uh, I'll get some RCs out and see whether we're going to stay another night or not. A little bit of a different setup now today for the uh, grub. We've got it all in here, so we'll get some bacon going. Oh, I'll tell you why I can't wait for this guys. Smells awesome. Hey look guys, we've got bacon going again. Our visitors are back. Right guys, dilemma. Dilemma. I have got that much sauce in each. Oh, red or brown. Huh. Gonna have to go with brown today. Fruity brown. How's your bacon, Sani? Absolutely amazing. That's what we like to hear. Have mine now in a minute. Yeah, wherever I was anyway before I hit the zoom button. It's getting closer. <sighs> anyway, this is done now, so we'll catch you in a bit. Guys, this is wicked. And look who's after this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so check this out for Deja Vu. This is where the video started. And yeah, like I say, we was on the CB net this afternoon. That was really good. So uh, yeah, we just done a, a cheeky uh pizza run so now we're heading back up because we're staying out for another night all right so uh we got a pizza and wedge is there and nice uh, pizza by here as well all right we're gonna get these down us guys and hopefully that bm's going elsewhere <laughs> all right man well last breakfast salted anyway <laughs> in front of me though the old sun going down that is but it's a bit uh a bit cloudy up here so yeah back on our spot guys we also picked up a fire log so have a fire after so what have you got planned then um gonna watch love island while i am and then <laughs> we're gonna make a Campfire. Oh man, not Love Island. <laughs> Alright, All right, okay, so second fire of this trip and uh, a damp fire log, so we put our pizza box in there and uh, in the hope it'll dry out enough start burning but uh yeah we're just gonna have a chill by here for five now and uh yeah we'll see if there's anything to report later cracking full moon out this evening i can't hold this camera very so what i might do is put it in the tripod and uh see if i can get a 30 zoom on it and uh yeah we'll try that but it's quite light at the moment isn't it all right, here we go, guys. I've tried to get a few, uh, a few shots. That's about thirty times zoom. So um, with with the uh, with the camera there, but uh, yeah, we'll see how that turns out. In the meantime, the fire log is going an absolute treat now. All right, guys, check this out. SpaceX. It's an X strolling past the moon. Now, that's the only X they'll ever get up there. <laughs> okay, so it's uh, 12 o'clock now. So the plan is we're going to have a few hours sleep. And then we're going to go and... Uh, 
go for a little walk somewhere. So, uh, so they felt like see you about there. Three o'clock. Oh, wow. Well. Come on, guys. I didn't go to the car last night, to be honest. We just fell asleep and literally just got up. <coughs> so, um, cup of coffee and all that. <laughs> oh, he's back with us, guys. What do you call him? Jeff. Jeff. I was calling him, and then he came. Yeah, that was quite funny, actually. She got her, stuck her head out, shouted at Jeff, and he, he did turn up. <laughs> I said, can she eat grapes? They said, yes, absolutely. How can any mammal eat grapes? <laughs> That's what they said. Oh, oh I don't know. We have got some grapes, guys, because they fell on the floor. We had not eating them, so yeah. guess Jeff is going to have them now, is he? Yeah, if you want some. This, this sheep has been with us all weekend, guys. All weekend. <laughs> oh, looks like that sheep isn't going anywhere, guys. It's decided to join us now. <laughs> it's decided to lay down. Oh, she likes them. Oh, God. She could be trying to rip the pipe. You don't lay on though. <laughs> She's collecting all the crumbs as well. <laughs> no, no. Stay for this. I bet no. you can get her right over to you, give her another one. Really scared. So she, she's scared too. Is that no, no. Why is she running? I only picked up the park. Right? She's scared, man. I told you that. But she likes them though. <laughs> that's coming back for more. <laughs> Wait, one more, and that's all. That's my toe. Don't don't mistake my toe for food, okay? Okay, that's good. I'm gonna hurt it though. Right now you get a bit too comfortable. <laughs> Bloody hell, her teeth are white. Right. Oh, I don't want it to look good. Could you have one more? Right, that was good to see. I know, I know, I know, sorry, right. <laughs> <laughs> what Chris Harley? Um, also my say bacon flavour. Bacon flavour. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm scared now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're all looking at me. <laughs> this one comes in the back too. Oh, 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 oh no. He's all dead. <laughs> <Take the fire. laughs> He's a lot bigger than Jack. At least more coming behind. Now we've got six sheep circling us now. <laughs> I'm just going to pick up this, okay? If I can get in the car and then feed you, I'd rather do that. Do you if I just throw one, they will fight. I don't want them to do that. They will fight. Oh, I've seen them fight all the food before. Love you. 
Ich muss halt immer nicht hin und die Schuhe. Oh, ja, ne. That was a fat cloth for my fuck. Scary, I couldn't even see it. <laughs> oh, watch out, sheepdog's coming. Uh oh. That's it now, all gone. You ate them all. Oh, wow, they got cute. Okay, so we're just dismantling the uh, the fire now, and we'll get all that picked up and uh, squared away. Our night didn't quite go to plan, did it? No. No, we were supposed to be going to do something three o'clock in the morning, but well, we both slept through it. Don't know whether I've mentioned this or not. To be honest, I don't know where I am while filming, guys. It's uh, <laughs> I've been trying to do this camping video. Uh, radio videos, some RC videos for my other channel. Um, yeah, so I don't know when you do get to see this uh, particular video, guys. But uh, yeah, there's been quite a lot, uh, quite a lot going on. So yeah, we're not finished yet. It's uh, it's kind of midday at the moment, so we'll uh, find something to do. I've got a film some more uh, RC stuff in a different location so uh, I don't know we're just chilling out guys making the most of being out to be fair That's all we've got left is a bit there. We're going to sweep that up now in a minute, guys. Always leave no trace. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do now, but we'll find something. Don't worry. We'll find something. All right, guys. So we've come to this uh, old building I know of. It used to be uh, part of the pit. A lot overgrown since I was uh, last year, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna go and explore this You can't see behind the trees, but uh, we'll get a drone up and I'll show you the top and everything and uh, We'll have a good walk around there <laughs> All right, so it's overgrown a bit is it? Uh, just do it Good job, we got our walking stick I'm not going to lie, that was a tight fit. Alright, so... This is the actual front of the building, the actual proper entrance. But, as you can see... There's no getting in through there. I used to actually stand by here and wait for the school bus and you could uh, get right through the door onward we go right so I don't think there's a lot down this end there's a few there's a few uh, sort of bricked up doorways a lot of windows 
And I think some of them are barred up as well. Uh, nope. I feel like I could. Hmm. But if I step on you and reach for a fish, I'm quite low. Yeah, what are you going to do then? Climb through. <laughs> Wow, this place has changed loads. I mean, there's a tree, I don't know. Is it going through the side or going through the roof? Or what's it doing? It's going up through the roof, man. Wow. That's amazing. It used to be, a, years ago, a ladder that went right up over the top and then you could get right in. But, uh, yeah, that's probably gone. That's a nice big open window. Can you see what's in there? Stick your phone up and go have some pictures for us. Alright, no going in through there, guys. Mm, maybe get up there with a ladder, what, which we ain't got. Ah. Alright, so uh, yeah, there's some old, uh, old doors here, which uh, you're not getting in. I will tell you the route we used to take years ago was up over there, onto the top of there, and then we'd go up in through there and up the ladder. But obviously that's not going to be there. However, we do have this fire. Let's check this out, wherever this is. <laughs> it's the way in. Awesome. Right, let's go, guys. In you go. Come on, can All right. This is cool. Obviously, it's wide open, has been for years. So uh, we're allowed in. Okay. Yeah, we've got upstairs now, we'll just have a look what's around here first. Right, this actually used to be the main pit head bars, uh, showers and things for the uh, for the mines. So, yes, uh, here's the room we just took some photos in. And, uh, as you can see, that's uh, a way out through there, I think. Mm. Football. Right. Can work our way through. I don't think there's anything there, but we'll see. Anything? Mm -hmm. Right, go on, get in there. Oh, she says another room here is literally. Oh, there's a toilet. And that is literally it, just a room. Right, let's go back. We'll get into the big room and then we'll head upstairs. Right, what's throwing me about this place, guys? It's been empty for years. It's the lack of graffiti. We haven't seen any graffiti yet. Just trying to watch under feet, yeah? There's some more rooms we can check out. Just a room, there's not much in there. There's just a small room there. There's an open bit, yeah? Right, it's like a big shower room, guys. Um, most of the glass smashed up on the roof there. A bricked up doorway. I left the flashlights in the car, see? Right, and it's just a big room. There's something else, but and all that leads into the room we just went in. Pretty sure. Yep. The usual graffiti there. See them everywhere. 
Okay, so look at that on there. We've got a, which one is it? Which is that? That's a mites up and tights down. So that's a static mite. So if we look up, static tights hanging off the roof. Quite a few of them actually. Right. One more, there's one more room down here. You see they've got these things there everywhere all on the floor. Like I say, been building up for a number of years these have. There's one more room. Should be. And then we'll uh, head upstairs. Don't think there's anything in here. This is just the entrance. That again there is the one we just came out of. Should have used a flash in here. Okay, so we're around to here, which, as we've seen from outside, and we couldn't actually get in. Oh, there we go. Do you know what? I always remember this place for being full of tins of paint. <laughs> yeah, and they're still there. They're a lot more rustier now than what they used to be, but. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Did I wipe you out that bird then? Yeah. Right, so one more, one last room down here. Oh, you know what this is, don't you? Toilet. Toilet. There should be more toilets there. Yeah, they are, they're dirty. Oh, I bet they are dirty, let's have a look. <laughs> Well dirty toilets. Right, we're gonna get back out here into the main room and we're gonna take a look upstairs. So uh, yeah, we'll catch you in a bit. Uh, so we got one more room we didn't look in guys, so a couple of rooms. Ah uh, right, that's just that's just an entrance. And that is doesn't look I don't know, let's go and have a look. <coughs> Probably some sort of toilets or whatever. Yeah, more toilets, look. Oh. Just another room there. Oh. Okay, cool. Seems to be like a load of plaster or something around you everywhere, so. One more room I've missed for you, hang on, right? Oh, actually, this room goes into somewhere else, another little room by there. Yeah, that's the doorway in. That's outside there. Right. Just check upstairs really quickly, and then we'll be done. Where you gone now? Uh, right, we're gonna have to be quiet when we go upstairs though. So uh right, we'll see you up there. Right, so yeah, we're not going any further this way guys. That's all literally all that's up here. Ah, sweet. Right. Let's get back outside then. We'll get the drone up and have a look at the roof. Alright guys, how awesome was that? That was pretty good. It's a, a lot easier than uh, it used to be years ago. It's in a, a lot worse estate than it was years ago though, to be fair. But, um, yeah, we'll just, we'll go down the side here and then I'll get the drone up and we'll have a look at what exactly is on the top looks like. It's actually mad to see all these trees here, guys, because as I said, years ago there was, there was no trees here. We used to, there was a big ramp just over there on the side. We'd uh, launch our BMX bikes and things. And everyone used to park their caravans over here. So, uh, yeah, even had one myself over here. That would have been 
well, quite a while ago now, I suppose. So. Right, there we go guys uh, yeah this video has gone on for probably way longer than I intended it to we only intended to stay out one night but as it was we had we had two nights there so um, yeah it was really good fun did you enjoy yourself yeah awesome right so uh, I'm gonna end this one guys but there'll be more uh, there hasn't been a car coming for ages honestly I'm not kidding you right <laughs> More explorers camps and uh, more adventures to come, guys. So, uh, yeah, cheers for watching. Stay safe out there. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. And we will catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye for now.